The serve is not a throwing motion. And how do I know this? Well, just like you, I've heard hundreds of times that the serve is just like throwing a ball. And that never sat right with me because when I grew up in Europe, I never uh, played baseball or American football and was not particularly uh, good at throwing. And yet I have a very good serve. And I wanted to find out if my intuition uh, was correct uh, that the serve is not like throwing a ball. And I've done the research and there are biomechanical differences between uh, throwing an object and striking an object. And the first biomechanical difference between a throw and a strike is that uh, the elbow is positioned uh, very differently on a throw uh, versus a serve. And so what's going to happen to the elbow on a throw is that the elbow uh, will start off very similar uh, to the serve, uh, pointing backwards. And now, as I initiate the throw, the elbow will first come to the side and then will point forward uh, before I release the ball. So the elbow will be pointing towards the target uh, prior to the ball release. The positioning of the elbow on the serve is completely different uh, from a throw. So you will never see uh, the elbow come forward uh, before we strike the ball. Uh, this will never happen on a real serve. And so what will happen instead is that we are going to toss the ball. And that is going to bring our non-dominant side, in this case it's going to be my left side, above the dominant side. So there's going to be a reversal of the shoulder positions. And therefore, the elbow will in most cases be uh, slightly uh, lower. And you don't see this on a throwing action. And now the next thing that happens, uh, the elbow will not come forward. Uh, the elbow will simply go up as we reverse the shoulder position. So you will see this. The elbow will start going up towards the sky as we initiate this cartwheeling motion. The elbow will be pointing uh, straight up uh, towards the sky. And as the elbow is pointing up towards the sky, now we start to uh, straighten the arm and we go into the contact. And so if we try to throw a ball in this fashion, uh, where the elbow is pointing up towards the sky like this, and we get extension in this fashion, it would be like throwing a ball at a ceiling. And we have very little uh, muscle memory in doing so. Uh, just try it out. Uh, take a ball and try to throw it at a ceiling. You will find it very uncomfortable, and it is very difficult to get any type of power uh, doing so. Another thing that's different uh, between a throw and a strike is the timing of the upper body rotation. Uh, so the biggest similarity be between a, a throw and a serve is that it does involve um, upper body rotation. I will add that this upper body rotation only takes place on, on flat and slice serves. So what will happen on a throw is that this upper body rotation it goes much further uh, before the ball gets released. And it happens in this fashion. Uh, so the throw starts right here, and now we start rotating the shoulders, and the elbow will go to the side first, and then we'll go forward, which will bring uh, the dominant shoulder in front of the non-dominant shoulder, and then the forearm will start extending into the release, like this. And you will never see the dominant shoulder get ahead of the non-dominant shoulder on a real serve because this would make the serve too arm dependent. So this will never take place on a serve. The dominant shoulder getting ahead of the non-dominant shoulder. Now I'm completely disconnected from the ball and I'm simply using my arm. This doesn't take place. What takes place instead is a delayed rotation where we're basically rotating into the contact on flat and slice serves. It's something like this. So we start off in a sideways position and now the racket drop is initiated and we start going up towards the ball and now as we make contact 
the shoulders start to rotate and the dominant shoulder never gets ahead of the non-dominant shoulder. They are parallel to each other and the uh, dominant shoulder is above the non-dominant shoulder. You will never be able to generate the same type of power and speed with a throw uh, compared uh, to a strike uh, with an object. And the reason is that the throw is very much dependent on the entire arm. And what happens on a throw is there is a release of the wrist at the very end. You can see that the wrist releases like this uh, to get additional power uh, on the throw. And you do not want to do this on the serve. You're basically using uh, this racket uh, to generate the power. And you must give this racket stability. And so you don't want to release into the contact like this, but you want to have stability here. And if we can see this, uh, that we have slight wrist extension at contact and slight ulnar deviation, and it's done uh, to create stability at impact uh, with the ball. There are several reasons why throwing will not improve your serve. And the first reason is that uh, throwing completely ignores the tossing side of your body. Uh, see, the toss is one of the most important things to develop at the recreational level and even at the professional level. Uh, the toss can be a challenge for some players. And when we throw, we simply are not using uh, the non-dominant side of the body. And you therefore must always incorporate uh, the non-dominant side into whatever serve exercises you do. Another reason why throwing will not help you serve better because it ignores the correct biomechanics on the serve. Uh, what happens on a real serve is that uh, we get into the C shape where we uh, get on our toes, we bend our knees, uh, we get the, the tossing side of the body uh, vertical to the ground and we get our chest up to the, towards the ball and this is only done on a real serve. Uh, you would never put yourself in this type of position uh, when you would throw the ball. Uh, so by throwing, uh, you will not be able to develop these biomechanics and you must do so on a real serve. Another reason why throwing will not improve your serve is because it ignores the context of the ball. See, recreational players could do a really good job at, at executing dry serving exercises uh, of all kinds, but then as soon as uh, if there's a ball to be struck, uh, everything goes out the window. Uh, the reason is, uh, mentally, if we are striking a tennis ball, uh, the racket will do all kinds of things uh, in order to make clean contact. So recreational players will open the racket face too early and they will slow down the racket. And all this is taking place because of uh, the ball that's there uh, to be struck. And so in order to improve the serve, as boring as it sounds, you must hit thousands of serves. You must get a lot of repetition. So you lose uh, some of these anxieties that you have uh, when it comes to uh, striking the ball. Uh, the more you serve, the less likely uh, you are going to uh, open the racket face up too early and do all these common mistakes uh, that happen to recreational players. Uh, and throwing uh, will not get that done, only real serves will.